हे फोक्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ द फ्लटर डेवलपमेंट कोर्स बॉट टू यू बाय न्यूटन स्कूल माय नेम इज हर्च एंड आई एम करंटली वर्किंग एज अ फ्लटर डेवलपर एट अली होप एंड आई हैव वर्कड एज एन इंटर्न एट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इनफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो वर्क एज अ फ्लटर डेवलपर इंटर्न एट अ फर्म नेम डैपस्क्रिप्ट आई एम ऑल्सो एन इंस्ट्रक्टर ऑन यूडमी एंड अडियोनिक्स वेर माई फ्लटर डेवलपमेंट कोर्सेज आर मोर देन फोर्टी थाउजेंड प्लस एनरोलमेंट्स सो यू कैन चेक दैम आउट एज वेल Talking about what Newton School is, so basically Newton School is a platform that helps you to learn and develop the skills that you need for your best tech career. There are courses specifically designed for freshers, working professionals, and for women with no prior experience in tech. Newton School first trains you for six months and helps you become a full stack developer. They are also having a tie up with 300 plus great companies who are directly from Newton School. So Newton School also ensures that once your training is complete, you are placed with one of the best companies in the country. There is also a pay after placement program where you don't have to pay anything to Newton School until and unless you are placed with the minimum CTC of five lakh rupees per annum. So that's a pretty great thing. And they are also having another amazing initiative known as Launchpad, where you are provided with some of the courses for free of cost, and you can complete those courses, go through them, learn the skills, and also get a certificate of completion after them. So yeah, make sure to check out Newton School and Launchpad through the link given in the description. Now talking about what will be covered in this particular video. So in this particular video, we'll be looking into the GitHub sign in uh, feature and the sign out feature as well. And I'll also be showing you how you can set up the project from the dashboard. That is the Firebase dashboard and the GitHub dashboard. And we'll be looking into the implementation of the code as well, totally from scratch. So yeah, let's just directly jump into the setup for the Firebase dashboard. So here in when you'll be going to the authentication from here, you'll be si finding sign in methods. You need to add a new provider and click on GitHub from here. When you will be turning Git, uh, this particular, you will be enabling this particular sign-in method. You will uh, need to pass a client ID and a client secret. But make sure to copy this callback URL because you will be needing that while you are creating a o while you are creating a OAuth application inside the GitHub dashboard. So here, in I have opened my GitHub account as well. I'll be going to the settings from here. Once this is loading, I'll be clicking on developer settings from here. So if you are not already a get, uh, GitHub developer, so you can sign in for the same and you'll be provided with a GitHub developer account as well. From here, you can see that I have GitHub apps and OAuth apps. So I'll be clicking on OAuth apps from now. And you can see I have already three apps set up. I'll be creating a new OAuth account. For the application name, I'll be passing demo app. For the home URL, I'll be passing google.com because as I don't have a website for our app currently, so I have added google.com as well, uh, google.com already. And for the de description, you can type over here that for testing, as we are already just testing the things. And as I told you that you need to copy this uh, particular uh, URL, that is the redirect URL over here. So I'll be pasting it inside this and I'll be registering the application. You can see that I have pro uh, provided with a client ID, so I'll be copying it and pasting it in here. Now I need to generate a secret ID as well for my project. So you can see that client secret, I can click on this and generate a new client secret ID. And I'll be showed with this ID, I'll be clicking on copy, make sure to copy it. And because once if you are like provided with this client secret ID, so it's very hard to get this client ID again. Uh, once you have closed the screen or once you are opening this particular demo app again, so pasting it over here as well, clicking on the save and this will be enabling this particular GitHub authentication from here. So now let me pause the video and let's jump to the code and uh, let me show you how we can add these things inside our project. So for the project, I'll be using uh, the one in which we have implemented the Facebook, Google and email password authentication already because we have the thing set up over there and I'll be using a different e redirect URL and the different client and the client secret key as well. So yeah, let me jump to the code and let's start working on the same. So here you can see that I have switched the screen and I've opened the app which we were working on in the previous video. So in the previous video, I have shown you the implementation of the Facebook authentication. And in the uh, previous, some of the previous videos, I have also shown you the implementation of the Google sign in and the email and password authentication in Flutter. So in this video, let's start with the GitHub sign in and let's add the implementation of the GitHub authentication service inside our uh, Flutter project. So before starting, I need to go on Google and type GitHub underscore sign in. And under the installing, I need to get the package which is still in development because that is the one which will be supporting null safety. So I'll be adding that over here and hitting control S so that that particular package is fetched for us inside our project. Now inside our lib directory, I need to create some more files, uh, which will be basically for the GitHub screen. 
so let me create that file as well and one more thing like i have also mentioned this in the previous two videos that make sure to name your file with an underscore and all small because uh, due to the recent changes it will be uh, giving you blue uh, lines if you are not doing so so if you want to avoid those lines then make sure to name it in an according way now moving towards our file so the first thing which i'll be doing is importing a material dot dart over here or oh, let me add it by myself only next we need to create a stateful widget for this we have to wait else we have to will be required to write a lot of code and i'll be naming it as github sign in screen and inside this i'll be creating a variable at first which will be of a name is loading and it will be having an initial value of false for the build statement i guess we can take some of the code from the login screen with google so i'll be going to the google sign in screen and i'll be picking up some code from there uh, which is present inside this build directory uh, which is present inside this particular build so i'll be copying it going back to this and here in i'll be uh, just removing this particular container and will be returning this particular code over here and adding a semicolon at last so in the build at first we are having this uh, is loading check so whenever loading is uh, set to true or like loading is not set to true um, basically is loading will be true and a null checker would be making it as false so accordingly it will be displaying any of those conditions and for the second condition we are displayed with the circular progress indicator which will be displayed in the center of the screen and it is having a parent as its container so we need to alter the code for this particular is loading thing so i'll be enclosing it inside a column and this column will be having a main axis alignment set as center and after that we are having a child as a container which is having an elevated button having a set state which is setting the value of this particular is loading and after that we will be having the firebase services which will be used for like it uh, triggering the github authentication thing and accordingly we will be creating the functions for the same let me import this as well else it will be providing us with the errors yeah so i have imported the firebase services i need to import this authentication exception as well so firebase auth is imp also imported i just need to work on creating a sign in with github function uh, which will be in the firebase services file so let's create that as well but before uh, that uh, yeah in the try catch block we'll be having the sign in with github and in the catch block uh, we are having a catch block over here as well so whenever there would be a firebase authentication exception we'll be printing out the message and after that we'll be setting the state of is loading to false again so let me do that as well so here is our bracket and uh, i can just copy the thing from here and it will be set to false again and we are having a child which will be saying sign in with github i am not adding any styles to it for now because the main purpose of this video is to show you the implementation of the github authentication thing and not the ui part so yeah that's why i'm not adding any particular designs now we need to create the firebase services class for which i'll be going back to the google sign in file and we'll be copying the code for this particular uh, class firebase service and pasting it once we are uh, once our file is closing with the github sign in screen class that's the stateful widget so pasting it over here and now we need to create some things we don't need this google sign in thing so i'll be removing and this firebase auth thing as well and inside this try catch block i guess we also don't need this try and catch block removing this as well and this sign out thing as well so that we have less errors now here we are having a future string being written but i'll be changing it to user credentials
and the name of it will be sign in with github it will be of a type async and it will be taking a context as well along with it and inside this async we will be first having the github sign in so i'll be creating a final variable which will be of a type github sign in the name of it will be github sign in only and it will be assigned the value which it will be assigned to would be github sign in and we need to pass the client id the client secret key and the redirect url inside it so the client id would be the client id which you have got from uh, after the generation of the project so i have already shown you how you can generate the project and how you can get your client id client secret key and the redirect url so make sure to copy those thing and store uh, the, those things somewhere because you will be needing them uh, over here and the auth url uh, the redirect url is also something which is provided to you inside the firebase dashboard whenever you are trying to uh, enable the github uh, particular github authentication thing so make sure to note that down as well because while i was working on <clears throat> creating a demo project for this thing so i was pretty confused with what should be the uh, redirect url and it was providing me with random errors as i was missing out on the appropriate url so yeah make sure to uh, store these things appropriately because you will be needing them uh, while implementing the github sign in authentication thing so yep this was for the github sign in thing now we just need to make the sign in from the github sign in whatever we have got so creating another variable of uh, type final name result and it would be awaiting the github sign in dot sign in so we are having this github sign in over here and from this we will be making a call to sign in and it will be taking a context with it after that we'll be getting the credentials so final github auth credentials and this would be equal to github auth provider there is a typo in this so it needs to be github auth provider and after this we'll be having dot credentials from here it so dot credentials and we need to pass the access token which would be from result dot token and adding a null check inside this yeah so we have got the github uh, auth credentials as, as well replacing this with a and now we need to make the sign in with credential request inside firebase so that uh, the particular user is signed with the credentials which uh, we have got from his github account so these are not basically the credentials which you are using it's just some uh, key pair values which are used for making the sign in request with the help of the credentials which we have uh, got from the github auth so we'll be returning an await call over here which will be made on firebase dot instance firebase dot instance and dot so it's not recognizing firebase instance oh it's firebase auth dot instance dot sign in with credentials and herein i'll be passing the github auth credentials and this will be completing our sign in request for the github thing and herein i need to replace it with sign in with github and passing the context over here as well hitting control s so yeah we have basically implemented the authentication thing now let me stop the recording and i'll be running the app and we'll be resuming the recording once it the app has started so where is the main dot dot file so the app has started running over here and let's wait for it to launch completely
and one more thing like we have added the implementation for the github sign in but we haven't added any button for it as it like it will be taking it us to that screen so i need to add that inside the home page dot dart file so for that i'll be copying this text button from here and we'll be changing some part of it firstly this will be github sign in screen next changing it to github sign in and hitting control s and there you go uh, it is showing us with the github sign in button now when i'll be clicking on this github sign in button it will be taking us to this uh, screen where we have this uh, button in the center which says sign in with github when i'll be clicking on this button a circular progress indicator would be loading initially and then we'll be displayed with a screen where we will be provided with the options uh, of like logging in with github so that would be the place where we need to enter our uh, github username and the github password so you can see over here that as we created the project and we named it as demo app so it is showing us demo app over here and i'll be adding my username and password quickly clicking on the sign in so it says you are being redirected to the authorized application so now you can see that we are uh, displayed back with this particular button as the circular progress indicator completed let's go back to the screen and inside the sign out and check let's click on the check user button and here you can see that we are displayed with the current user you can see that the display name is harsh kumar khatri email id email is verified and the main thing which will be help us to, uh, which will be helping us to check if the user is logged in with github or not is the photo url so for the photo url you can see over here that we are displayed with avdar.githubuser.content which signifies that the user has been logged in with a github account and his photo is stored on the github servers so yeah this was how you can implement the github sign in thing inside your flutter application and how you can make the github authentication work inside your app as well and yeah if you got to learn something new from this video then make sure to drop a like comment down below what you learned and what you want to see in the upcoming videos share this video with the people in your community who are willing to learn flutter and subscribe to the channel to get all the latest updates related to the flutter development course videos a new video is being posted every alternate day so make sure to subscribe to the channel as well and yeah thank you for watching this video i'll be seeing you in the next one